start off with a real s simple sequence. So what I'd do is I'd go to a, this, the real-time page on this com particular computer to write the first pattern. Um, OK. Select my MIDI channel on this keyboard, which is my master keyboard. Um, and then I'll get a click from that, hopefully, and just write something down. And on this computer, I press a uh, figure there, and the time corrects it to 16s. That's whatever figure you punch in. Now you can edit or, or change about, or take notes out that you don't like. Um, and then you just go on to the next sound, OK? So I'll change the MIDI channel on my master keyboard. Like the drum pattern. So, and just play the on on the keyboard. I've got all the names, the, the numbers of the drums. You see, because the drum machines are there, and each drum um, is represented by a note on the keyboard. Okay. So. Um, Overdub on that, make it more interesting. Um, perhaps put some hi hat in or something like that. Correct it. In fact, you can sort of continue overdubbing at uh, different sounds. then I'll start arranging it into a song. So I'll go into a different page. And just build the song this way. Each number re represents like two, a two-bar section. And um, just carry on continuing the numbers. And that's it. That's the end. Thank you. For, you know, musicians, even session musicians, that um, just can't play in time, you know? Like, like, I don't mean it sort of horribly, you know, like, but when they're with a, like, a real drummer and a bass, then everybody feels together, OK? But, like, uh, in this situation, where you're working with a drum machine, it's got no mercy, and as far as timing's concerned, you know, the things have got to be exactly right, I think. And um, I, I like that, that style anyway. I like things to be metronomic and, and precise and exact. And I let Andy, the singer, do all the... And, you know, put the feeling across in the song.